Today we're flying all the way to the Philippines and making an awesome recipe, chicken adobo. Let's get cooking. So to make this chicken adobo, uh, what we have here, we have about um, nine chicken drumsticks. You can use chicken thighs as well, uh, bone in or boneless. I wouldn't recommend doing this with chicken breast, only because you need uh, the fat of the dark meat. Um, that's what really gives a, a flavor to the sauce and helps thicken it up. So what we're gonna do is just marinate this chicken first. You wanna marinate it for at least 20 minutes, sometimes up to overnight, depending on uh, how powerful you want the flavor. Uh, but here's what we're gonna use for the marinade. We have five cloves of garlic. We have three dried bay leaves. If you're gonna use fresh, use four. Uh, we have half a cup of um, soy sauce, and then we have two thirds of a cup of white vinegar. So we wanna mix everything together. And then we're gonna put it into the fridge covered for 20 minutes so that it gets that nice flavor. I'm just gonna chop up my garlic very fine, or sorry, in big clumps, just so that they can give some of the flavor but we don't have too many small pieces in there. There we go. So covered into the fridge for 20 minutes and then we'll check on it then. So while the chicken's in the fridge marinating, we're actually gonna prepare the rest of our ingredients that we're gonna add to the chicken to cook. We have one whole onion. We have four cloves of garlic two tablespoons of brown sugar, two teaspoons of black pepper. You can use actually a whole black peppercorn if you have that as well. I don't have it, so crushed black pepper is gonna have to do. And then we have three cups of water. So we're just gonna prepare these by dicing up the onion and cutting up the garlic uh, very finely. So our chicken's done marinating now. Uh, what we wanna do is we put about a tablespoon of neutral cooking oil in our pan, we wanna get our chicken and just give it a nice sear on each side. So we'll give it a quick sear, probably about a minute to a minute and a half on each side. Then we're gonna take it out of the skillet um, and put it into a plate while we work on the rest of our dish. Okay, so we've given our chicken just a quick sear. We're going to take it out of the pan and place it onto a plate. You want to make sure that you don't actually cook the chicken through because that's what's going to happen in the next step. And you want to make sure you reserve that marinade because we're going to use that to make our delicious sauce. So now I've added about two tablespoons of that same neutral cooking oil. I've cut out my uh, onions and my garlic. Garlic just roughly chopped my onions into the uh, strings. We're gonna add them to the pan. And we want them to saute for a few minutes, just until the onions get nice and trans translucent and the garlic gives off a nice flavor. So our garlic and our onions have gotten some nice color now. Now we're gonna add the remainder of our marinade into there. We are going to add our water and we are going to add our brown sugar and our black pepper and we mix it all together just gonna turn up the heat you want to bring it to a, a quick boil then reduce it down to a simmer and let it simmer for about five minutes all right so we've been simmering for about five minutes now it's time to re-add our chicken in here. Just make sure we put it in. Fit it in there. You want it to be covered with that liquid. And then we're going to let this cook down for approximately 30 minutes. After about 15 minutes, we're just going to check on it and flip the chicken upside down just in case some stay out of the water. Uh, or out of the liquid, 
you'd be able to flip it so that it's cooking for the other half of it. After about 30 minutes, we're gonna check it uh, to see if it needs a little bit more time or if it's good as it is. So we're gonna leave it uncovered for 30 minutes, but after 15 minutes, flip. All right, 15 minutes have passed. We're just gonna grab our chicken now, flip it upside down so the other side can get uh, cooking in the sauce. Once it's all flipped upside down, you're gonna leave it for another 15 minutes or so, and then we're gonna check on it again. So another 15 minutes has passed. Uh, our chicken's done. Our sauce is still a little bit liquidy. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove the chicken from the sauce. And we're gonna let the sauce simmer by itself. When the chicken's out of there, it's gonna thicken up a lot more quickly. So we'll take the chicken out. Once the sauce is thickened up a little bit, we will add it back into the sauce and just coat it. Um, if you're in a bit of a hurry, you can also just uh, add a slurry of cornstarch and water into the sauce, and that should help thicken it up as well. But I'm in no rush, so I'm gonna let the sauce simmer on its own. So our sauce has thickened a little bit, and now we're just gonna add our chicken back in there make sure it gets coated with that nice sauce. Okay. So our chicken is now coated in the sauce. I've removed it from the heat to plate. You want to serve it over rice, just white rice. Um, it's almost necessary for this particular dish, just based on how flavorful the sauce actually is we have that soy sauce it is a it gives it a nice uh, salty punch so you need the rice to kind of mellow it out um, we're gonna plate right on top of the rice and you can do one or two drumsticks whatever you think is appropriate some chopped scallions on top as a garnish and then use some of the sauce Drop it right on top. Make sure that rice soaks it up because it's delicious. And there you have it. Hey guys, there you have the recipe. Hope you enjoy. Hope you guys give it a try. Really, really flavorful. If you guys have a recommendation for something you want to see me make, drop it down in the comments. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video. Get the word out there. We're cooking good food and we want all the eyes on it. So enjoy everyone.